Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13 2. Well, last time we went over here to Serendipity, and we picked up uh, some different fragment skills and all that stuff like that, uh, so that was a lot of fun. We also went and we got a bunch of monster crystals with the new fragment abilities that we got here. Now Mog, uh, his, uh, his throwing is improved, so now we can find different things and also, uh, we are able to get monster crystals more easily. So we'll be doing some of that today before we move on with the actual uh, what I want to do today. Now, before we go on, there's a couple things I want to show you. Uh, I picked up the Chi Chu the last time. And um, I want to start by powering this guy up and just kind of show you how this guy goes. Now, for this guy, you want to use all power. Now, I also like this uh, ability, Feral Speed 2, which increases the Feral leg ch uh, Gauge charge rate. So that's awesome. And then Pack Mentality increases the strength of magic when all the monsters in the Paradigm Pack are of the same type. So if you want to get a red Chocobo and use a red Chocobo, green Chocobo, blue Chocobo, give them all Pack have them all use Pack Mentality, that would be fine. Um, but I don't really care for that because one, I don't think you really need it. And two, uh, the Chi Chu is just so powerful. And you'll see that uh, when we power him up eventually. But another reason I like him is the attack ATB charge is a great ability, so whenever he attacks someone, he automatically charges part of the ATB gauge, so that's awesome. And we'll expand the Crystarium, and increase his ATB gauge for sure, because I believe he can crank up to level 6. Now, I got some of these power orbs, so let's start putting these to use. I don't think he's going to be stronger than the Dragoon yet, but he's got some pretty badass abilities. Now, he'll, he'll really power up once we get to level 4 and level 5, just like we did with the um, with the uh, uh, blue chocobo earlier, but yeah, he's starting to get pretty darn strong already, so that's pretty awesome. So he's almost on level four already. Oh, that's good. So, anyways, uh, we want to start building that guy up for sure, and we'll get him going. How is he doing compared to the dragoon? Still not as strong for sure, but um, he does have good abilities for sure. Meteorite is an excellent. Uh, Feral Link, and we'll be going over that a little more later. So, but yeah, so this is pretty cool. He can break through the armory, and he can uh, boost strength versus enemies, enhance with bravery, and he casts bravery on himself. So that's pretty badass, too. Uh, let's see, what else can we do with him? Um, let's see. Eventually, we're gonna want to. Well, you know, what? I'll go over more of that later. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. And now, what we want to do is we want to go and pick up some of those monsters that I didn't get earlier. So, let's head back to the Vile Ruins, or Vile Peaks, however, and I want to pick up some things here. Let's start with 200 AF. Okay, I'll meet you there. Time and memory I guess I'll show frozen this. Frozen in crystal. The Blitz Squadron's disappearance was the work of a Shadow Twin of Odin, an entity spawned by the very paradox the team was sent to investigate. Sarah and Noel defeat the Phantom Odin and return the Squadron members to their original time. In that instant, Lightning sends her voice from Valhalla, telling Sarah that the chance of seeing her again is what allows her to continue fighting. Noel is determined to see that wish granted. That happened a couple episodes ago, and that's pretty cool. Alright, meet you there. Okay, I've made it here to the Vile Peaks. Now there's two things that I want to do before we continue on. Oops. Uh, let's see. I want to quickly... Um, no, sorry. Swap out... Um, the blue, the green chocobo, uh, let's see, is this the one that I want? Yes, for a Speranthes, just for now, um, because I want to increase, and do we need a power, no, no, it's fine, um, because he's got a, a rare, he's got an ability to uh, search for rare items, and we want to do that, because uh, one of the enemies up here, that Garuda, drops an enemy that I want. And so we have a chance of obtaining those rare items. So, okay. Now what I'm going to do is fight through here until I get the enemies that... Well, we've seen the enemies that I want to get from before, the Viking and the Lancer. But now I want to see if I can pick them up real quick. Because now that we have the monster, collect the monster Collector, yeah, obtain more monster crystals, it will be much easier for us to do that. So, let's see if we can make that happen. And if you fight a Garuda, you're going to want to switch to the... No... Earth. You're going to want to switch to the uh, diversity paradigm uh, so that his monster collector ability, or item collector ability, is out. So, okay, let's see if I can find those enemies. Okay. 
Okay, here's the enemies. So let's see how quickly we can pick them up. See if we have any more luck picking them up. Aha! Yeah, look at that. Hoo-hoo! I think I got them both in one try. Yep, I got both a Lancer and a Viking, which is exactly what I wanted to do. That's awesome. Yeah. And the reason that I like those is a Viking is actually not a bad saboteur. And a Lancer, uh, I believe, has some is actually not a bad Sentinel either. You know, um, we go to the Crystarium. So the Viking, both the Viking and uh, the Saboteur are early peakers. So, um, so they'll, um, they'll get all their abilities quickly. But they have things like Curse 2, which I'll show you what that does. See, look how quickly they increase. Uh, and what that does is um, disable enemy physical attacks and deal heavy physical damage. So he's not a bad saboteur. He's not as good as the other one I want to get, but he's an option for you. Lancer, same thing. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll power up pretty darn quick. And I think he has some abilities that you can eventually use. Um, like improved guard, which is good. Feral speed, too, which is nice. So if you want to use that, you can. Um, so there you are. Okay. Now I want to see if I can find a Garuda and get one, get an item that I'm looking for. Ah, finally, there's the enemy I'm looking for. All right, so what we want to do with this guy now, now that we've, if you want to obtain his item, and this might work, this might not, I'm hoping I'll get lucky, but if we want to wear him down, just like we normally would, really make sure that we get down that, uh, and build up his uh, chain gauge there. There we go. And now we want to start going all out on him. Just again, this is just normal operating procedure. Until he starts to get down to really low on life. Then we want to switch over to the diversity paradigm. And what that will do is that will allow us to finish him off. But we've got item collector two going. That wasn't even and if you defeat him in a good amount of time, you'll notice that. See, the rare drop is plus 320%, so you get a better chance of getting items. Now, let's see if it worked. Ha-ha! Yes, it did! And we get a Grim War hat, which is exactly what I wanted to get. And now I'm going to equip that on Sarah. And kill Libra, improve potions. Yeah, so basically now we'll be able to reveal a bunch of information about monsters. So we have now got done... Uh, I've now got all the items that we're going to be needing uh, for the rest of the game for uh, our characters. So that's pretty good. It's, it's a good place to be. So, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the Vile Peaks 10 AF because uh, there's a couple monsters that I want to meet there or that I want to pick up there. So I'll meet you there. Well, actually, I'll go back to the Story Crux because I bet there's a, a time and memory frozen in crystal there and I'll show you that. This is from a couple episodes ago, but it's still cool to see. All right, check it out. Time and memory frozen in crystal. One such memory is the disappearance of the Blitz Squadron during their investigation of a space-time anomaly. The monster that attacked the team was a dark version of Lightning's Eidolon, Odin. Sarah and Noel defeat the shadowy Odin and receive an unexpected revelation from the sergeant they rescue. The members of Blitz Squadron are old friends of Lightning and are fighting to uphold her cause. Hearing evidence that her sister was alive once and still remembered is a source of great comfort for Sarah. Awesome. Okay, let's check it out. And also uh, engage with an enemy that I want to face. Okay, well here's one of the enemies that I wanted to pick up. The bomb. Now we're going to go ahead and see if we can end this thing right now. Yes! Got him! And that bomb is definitely one I want to pick up. And I'll show you why here in a second. I didn't even get max. But anyways, we get the bomb. And the reason that I want a bomb is because he actually learns... Um, he's got Fire Aug going. He actually learns um, Fire Aug up pretty quick. Uh, so we want to try and get that going. Level 15, that's fine. I'll have enough potent chips for that. Ooh, Critical Faith. That's not bad, actually. Not a bad ability, also. But now we've got Fire Aga. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be able to finish this off. 
Okay. So yeah, so this guy maxes out at 620. So he's actually not, he's not a terrible Ravager, really. But really what I really want him for is I want to infuse him into the blue Chocobo. Uh, and actually, I'm going to do a couple infusions while I have a chance. Uh, and I, it's the, the Lancer is another one of them. Well, you know what? I'm probably going to have to buy some more chips from Chocolina. But okay, I'll, you know, I'll do that one later. Um, let's go. Let's start by getting the blue Chocobo going. Oops. Uh, let's see. Blue Chocobo. We want to infuse the bomb. Now, what we want to do with him is he'll get magic plus 20, which is good. I like that. And we can get Fire Aga. Yes. Okay, now my now let's check this guy out. See, so got all the four major ones, got all the four major one of those, and all the four major one of those. That's awesome. My blue chocobo is ready to go, and he's pretty much maxed out. I love it. Okay, let's keep looking for some more uh, enemies. All right, and here's another enemy that we want to try and find, the Black Chocobo. Now let's see what happens, uh, now that we've got these crystals going. So triple Disaster. We can get his defenses going. Switch over to this one. Now let's see if we can finish this guy off. Dang it! Okay, well he's one I'm definitely going to want to pick up. Oh, but we got an afro and black chick. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's see what that adornment does. I, I've never gotten that adornment. Let's check it out. Uh, did, can, I, can we use this one? Afro and black chick. <laughs> An afro hair piece featuring a black chocobo chick. That's cute. Okay, let's find another monster. Okay, well, here's another enemy we, we want to get again. Here's Yakshini. We want to try and pick this guy up. Oh, there we go. I can tell uh, he just turned white right from the beginning. So that means that we turned him into a crystal. And that's good. We definitely want to do that. And the reason for that is... Yeah, there's Yakshini. Excellent. And the reason for that is because... Yakshini is a synergist. And he learns Brave Ga and Faithga, which is I'm going to want to infuse into my purple chocobo uh, a little bit later. So, love that. I think I can get them both in this uh, sequence, I think. Uh, I think I can get both Bravega and Faithga on it. So, anyways, that's awesome. All right, now let's go pick up that black chocobo, and I'll just do that off screen. It looks like we get a new enemy here, the uh, Cryohedron. So they're just little mini bombs there. Pretty easy to take out. Um, and let's check out their crystal real quick. Yeah, it's a Ravager. So it's basically the uh, the, the the ice version of um, the ice version of the bomb there. So they can learn other abilities pretty quick. So anyways, there's that. Here. Oh, we have another new enemy here, Shaguma. Uh, this is actually, and the Habitat. These are actually rare enemies here, and you know, I'm sorry, Haguma and Shaguma. So they, they actually don't find these enemies too often. They're pretty rare. Um, so we want to take them out kind of quickly there. Basically, they're just upgraded versions of the Yakshini and Yaksha monsters. Ooh, we get Haguma. That's cool. But yeah, those are definitely rare monsters, and you don't see them that often. And he's a medic there, so let's uh, let's check out his Crystarium. I won't be using him, but yeah, you've got Kurasa and Kura and Esu, Esuna, Esunanda. So you know, it's kind of so it's not bad, I guess. You got resist deep protect. He's got some other abilities there, so. There's another new, just another new enemy there, and he's apparently brainy and beautiful. Maybe it's a she then. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Well, I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to go up against this guy, but 
Might as well. Now we've got a new enemy here, the Dreadnought. Now this guy is dangerous. He does a lot of damage, so you need to be pretty strong before you take him on. Okay. But, but the plan is still pretty much the same. And unfortunately, see, you can't launch him. He's, he's weak, you know, he's strong against launch. See that there? Oh, there we go, there we go. We finally launched him there. Took a little while, but we finally got him up there. And now we just kind of want to go all out against this guy. But yeah, so he's got a lot of physical, a lot of physical resistance. Um, he's, um, I think he's strong against, or he's got 220,000 HP. So it takes, it takes a little while to go down. And uh, let's uh, let's get Meteor Javelin going there. I didn't quite get him, but that's alright. Should be able to. Uh oh, Wrecking Ball. I came in like a Wrecking Ball. But yeah, there's another rare enemy there, so I didn't, get anything. I didn't think I'd get a chance to go against him, but. Cool! Okay, so I've been trying for an hour now, and I can't get this Black Chocobo on my team. I've, I've fought him four times now and he hasn't joined my team many times. So sometimes it just doesn't work. I mean, even with the fragment skills on, uh, it just sometimes just doesn't work. So I'll go back and do this uh, later because I'm just getting impatient now and I need to do something else. So uh, let's do a couple more things and then we'll get going with the actual mission of what I want to do today. So I do actually want to power up this Lancer because uh, I do want to do, do, do an infusion with him. Uh, and it doesn't really, honestly, you know, I think about it, it doesn't really matter which chips we use, because I'm just infusing this guy anyway. There, I guess vitality would be good, because, you know, we get some HP, I guess. Again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, really what I'm most interested in is uh, Death Ward, and really Challenge, and Improved Ward, I got that, so that's nice. Okay, so what I want to do with this Sentinel now, is we want to go up to our Goblin Chieftain, I know we haven't seen that guy in a while. There he is. And we want to actually, well, yeah. So what I want to do now is I want to infuse the Goblin Chieftain where is he, with a, uh, with that uh, Lancer that we just got. So yeah, let's improve this guy for sure. And he'll get Feral Speed 2 and Improved Ward, which is excellent. We like that. We definitely want those. And we want to get Death Ward. Yes. So that's awesome. Okay. So now we're all good there. And I believe that's all the infusing I want to do for now. So, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a moment there and I'll meet you back at the... Ooh, no, it's getting cold. I'll meet you back at the uh, Historia Crux. Okay. Well, here I'm back at the Historia Crux. Uh, let's go ahead and advance... Noel and Sarah, because we haven't done that in a while. And we definitely... Oh, I got a lot of Christian Gym points to use. So let's go ahead and get them going. Hey, we got the Synergist Roll Mastered. And I guess Saboteur will be next. Good. So we'll get the Crystarium going. And uh, let's use Synergist Bonus Boost, too. Okay, cool. Let me keep going here, and I'll just I'll just show you what I'm done once, once I'm all done, all the abilities that I got. Okay, and that's kind of where I am. I didn't get any new abilities. So let's do the same thing for Sarah here. Get her synergist going. Show Master her Crystarium. There we go. And we want to do med bonus boost for sure. Okay, now let me finish up with this. And I'll just do this real quick because this won't take long. Save me a little bit of editing. Take a few seconds, and there we go. Okay, so now we're done with everything that we want to do there. So let's continue on with what we want to do with the story. Now there's a new area that we can visit from Augusta 200 AF, and that's here at Ereba, 300 AF. It's been a while since we've been to Ereba, even the last time we were here. Well, yeah, let's just see what happens uh, when we visit here next. The village of Ereba is returned to how it once was. The strange distortion that threatened to swallow it is safely dispelled. But here and there, small fissures in space still remain. These fissures confound scientists. Are they a type of gate? 
Are they singularities in the process of giving birth to incomplete space-times? One thing is certain. Beyond them is a place that means a great deal to a certain little flying friend. Oh, wow. Hmm. I wonder who that flying friend could be. Certainly not anybody that we know. I mean, it's got to be one of our monsters, right? Like, uh, well, we don't have Galuda, but like a Vespid or a, I don't know, something that flies. Maybe it's Yomi. Well, no, you can't really tame Yomi, but I don't know. Some sort of avian variety. Hey, Mog, where do you come from? Where's your hometown? Do you have family somewhere? I don't know, Kubo. I've been out by myself since I can remember, Kubo. Hmm, I see. Well, do you at least know why you were in Valhalla? That's a mystery too, Kubo. I was wandering through the void beyond and I ended up there, Kubo. It was terrible in Valhalla. It was, Kubo. Kubo. But then lightning found me and took me in. So in the end, everything worked out, Kubo. I see. So that's your plan, huh? You go where the wind takes you. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm kind of jealous. Kubo? I'm a rolling stone, Kubo. <laughs> well, you must not have any moss then, because as we all know, BCS Universe, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Oh, and that flying friend was Mock. Okay. So let's go over here, and I, I think I saw something. Uh, I thought I saw something as soon as we uh, took off there. So, well, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Whoa! And we got some Seekers again from, the, from before. And We'll be able to destroy them pretty darn quickly. Yeah, it's just it's sometimes I think I've told talk about this before, but sometimes it's fun to just kick the crap out of everything that moves. You know, it just sometimes is. Okay, now what we want to do? Okay, let's head over this way. I thought I'd saw something, but I guess I did. All right, and we got a chest down there. So what we want to do? Uh, let's see, if we look up here, I think there's something around here. Where is it? Because I think, ah, ah, there it is. So you can barely see it, there's a square moving there in the background. So let's launch Mog over there. You got this. Let's see if Mog can grab that there. Hopefully we found it. And, yep, got it. And we get a How Things Were gate seal. Very nice. All right, so let's head over this way and, ooh. And now it's time for some new enemies here. Blood Fang Grass. And, oh man, we're gonna wheel the whoop there. Those things pretty darn quick. All right. And of course we get a, bud, a Blood Fang Bass. Uh, crystal there. So let's check that one out. This is actually one that you, that's not bad to pick up. Uh, wait, where is he? There he is. And he's a Ravager, and what, I, what we like about him, uh, oh wait, no, this isn't the one that we want. We want a different one. There's a different kind of bass that we can get. But we'll get to that one here in just a little bit. Um, what's that over here? Looks like there's kind of a weird looking distortion there, so let's check it out. Hmm. Well, let's see what exactly this is. Hello? Oh! What is this place? It looks, I don't know, unfinished. It's like someone started to build something and then gave up halfway through. You're absolutely right, Kubo. The time labyrinth is an incomplete space, Kubo. How do you know that? Or better yet, who did you hear that from? Did your friends back home tell you about it? Hey, Mog, are you absolutely sure you don't remember anything about your past? 
Not a single thing, Kubo. Hmm. Now, if you remember this from before, I know it's been a long time since we've done this, but basically we have to resolve the anomalies and we have to basically connect the dots. And if you remember uh, from the last time, uh, there we go. You need to uh, connect squares that are of the like of like colors. And then once that's all done, uh, everything is all well and good. Uh, okay, these two connect. Sometimes you have to wait for just a minute for the crystals to change the right color. And is that it? Oh, so, there we go. Ooh, it's a chocobo. Cool. All right, well, let's continue on then. And stage one is complete. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Hmm, looks like a, uh, a mini flan. Okay, and this one's real easy. Basically, you just, if you look at the diagram real carefully, I'm going to wait for them to change colors. There we go. And like that, and like that, and like that, there, and there. Got it. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of a little mini fly in there. All right. And stage two is complete. And one more, I think, in this one. Ooh, it looks like a, a micro chew. Okay, so let's get that one. Oops. No, it looks like they're not cooperating. Uh, okay, that one, and that one, and that one. And let's see. Oops, I guess I can go over there. By the way, just hold down the X button in order to make them. Oh, okay. oh dang it. Uh, in order to make the line go. And there you are. And this should be the last one. If I've done this correctly. Yep. Yay, we've resolved another paradox. Woo! Go, Noel. Man, this takes a really long time to load. It's kind of annoying. And there we go. And we get a sparkling runestone fragment. We fixed another distortion in time, Kubo. Yeah, let's check out that fragment there. Um, that, uh, ooh, great Mog wisdom. Sparkling runestone. Oh, and it talks about the, the snow as a stray cat there. But when you give her a dog name like Spot, that's just wrong. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, and we have several anomalies that we need to resolve here in Ereba. But can we do them all and save this time period from utter disaster? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out the donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.